Honeybox is a really simple command for the Visi software to be able to analyze the part. So, for example, if I go into Bounty Box, basically I can suck the, either the part or the faces off of the part. So when we're looking at this, I can analyze from a current work plane or minimal to the part. I can also analyze relative to a dynamic direction, so I can choose a direction to create a bounty box off of. I'll pick this edge, pick a direction off that edge, and I can use that edge as, let's say, my bounty box dimension. So minimum, align to current, whatever I want, and get exact sizes. I can choose whether this box is a cylindrical box or a rectangular box, so it could be dependent on the stock I order for this. I could also set a general offset for this bounding box, which means I can increase the de and decrease the general offset of the box, or do a non-uniform offset, which allows me to do a unique positive, negative, length, width, and height. So you can see I'm adjusting the length and width and heights right now. I also have a checkbox to do the unique positive and negative length, width, and heights. So I could type in a unique height, so let's say I have more stock above. And then I could also see the size of this bounding box after I adjust the lengths and widths. So I can also create a unique work plane right off of this bounding box. So that work plane could have a name. I could choose whichever corner I want. If I change some settings here, I could also select all and pick like the center of gravity of the part to be able to create a work plane off of instantly right in the software. During this process, if I put in a offset, I could have the work plane offset to that or ignore the offset. From here, I could choose whether I'm going to display a point at the maximum area, a point at the minimum area, a center point, which would be a center point of gravity, or all points. If I say all points, it'll show all points, or center gravity. Within bounty box, I can also display this, a wireframe bounty box around the part, or I can make this into a solid. Over on the right side, I can see all the results for my minimum, maximum points and the bounding box dimensions. I can change how the bounding box dimensions are displayed, whether it's minimum, maximum, maximum, minimum. If it's a circular part, diameter times height, radius times height. So in this example, I'm going to use the faces to create a bounding box because I could create a solid bounding box off of these faces specifically. So within here, I can create a bounding box specifically off those faces. I can add a unique height to this. And then there's a new option called Create Cavity. I can actually, within Bounding Box, create a cavity off my part. And that's going to cavity out the main part off of the solid. And with some simple modeling commands, such as Edit Faces, Delete Extract Faces, and so on, I can actually morph that. So if like, I'm, I'm trying to create a punch, or I'm trying to create, like let's say, some sort of electrode, I could easily do that right from the bounding box. So I'm just using edit faces here, just extruding it, just subtracting out, not needing to know exactly which height it's going to be, but basically from here, within edit faces, I can also change direction specifically and change how that height is going to be. With this last area, I'm just going to do a delete and heal and basically just select the entire part. 